Hey, this is Ron from Rift 2, and I just want to give you a real quick recap of what's happening in this year's election for president. With about a week to go before primaries in two key states, Ohio and Texas, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama debated last night in Cleveland. And unlike last week's debate, which was pretty much a love fest and the two opponents looked like booze and pals, it got a little more feistier in, on Tuesday. But unfortunately, the feistiness didn't come over issues. The feistiness was over who's slinging more mud, and really, do we care about that? This is an election. You're supposed to sling mud. When it comes to the two key issues, healthcare and NAFTA, the two pretty much agreed on most things. Clinton says her plan would guarantee health coverage for all Americans, while Obama says his plan would make it affordable for all, but would not require people to buy in if they don't want to. And that right there, buying in if you don't want to, is pretty much the key difference between the two on that one. As far as NAFTA goes, both agreed it might not be working as well as Hillary's hubby Bill promised it would, and they said they'd use the threat of withdrawing from NAFTA to put pressure on Mexico to make the necessary changes. Again, kind of a potato versus potato on that one. So, as far as its feistiness, not that feisty when it came to the issues, they're pretty much the same. So with primaries in Ohio and Texas this Tuesday, many feel it's a must win in both states if Hillary stands any chance of receiving the Democratic election. Obama leads Clinton in the delegate race, 1,360 to 1,269, so that's still a pretty much close race, but you need 2,025 in total delegates to wrap up the nomination. So if Hillary wins one of those two states, it's still a neck and neck race. On the Republican side, John McCain pretty much has a nomination in the bag, despite good old stubborn Mike Huckabee's refusal to throw in the towel. But that doesn't mean he stopped campaigning in those two key states, but instead of criticizing his GOP brethren, he's now going after the Democrats. And then there's the four-year locust himself, Ralph Nader, who again has thrown his unelectable at any speed hat into the mix. But most experts don't think that he will have any effect on this election, unlike in 2000. So to my Green Party friends, do not vote Nader. You already did it once. You saw how it worked out. Let's get it right. And that's it. And I'm Ron from Rift 2.